So I was having you thinking uh, about that title that we put in the previous video, Saving the Coal Industry, question mark. And it made me laugh about the unbelievable arrogance of that. <laughs> uh, maybe I should retitle this. But to be honest, guys, we, we did the second stage experiment. And although it's terrible, terribly smug, and I know it's horrendous, I think the arrogance, to a degree, is deserved. So we went out to a coal shop. We have a few sort of coal um, resellers here around Canterbury, no surprise. We went out to see the guys and said, do you mind if we have a kilo or so of coal? And they said, nah, what do you want it for? I said, oh, I'm doing an experiment with it. They said, yeah, yeah, go on, go on, take some. So they let me go up to that coal heap and take some coal. And, and this is what they gave me. It's this jet black stuff. It's a nice anthracite, okay? So I'm not quite sure what mines it comes from, but it's a nice coal, and that's what they actually gave me. Now, if I take a, a resistance reading of that, we'll get some idea of what kind of resistivity it has, ergo some idea of what kind of conductivity it has. So we stick those probes on there and just give it a second to settle down, and I can tell you what that's going to be. So it's about three mega ohms. So it's a bit more conductive than um, you would expect. And obviously that would be to do with the carbon structures in there. There'll be some kind of conductivity going on in there, courtesy of the carbon structures. But it's still three mega ohms. Now we put this through our process. Now our process uses no metals at all. So we are not adding a metal content to this. In fact, we're adding nothing to this in our process. And this is what we got out. I have to tell you, I'm just in love with this. This is beautiful. I'll give you a close-up in a second so you can see that. But look what's happened to the black. It's gone this almost metallic silver colour, which is kind of what you'd expect from graphene. And it's absolutely beautiful. And if I take a resistivity reading of that... Give it a second to settle down. And we're getting six ohms from that. So we're going from mega ohms to ohms, black to silver. We've done something. Now obviously what we need to do is we need to send this off. Elemental analysis will tell us what's in here. And we'll do a similar elemental analysis of this. So we can see what we've done in terms of changing the constituents of these two materials. But well, basically what we've taken away, because we'll have taken away something. And we need to know what that is. So we need to do that. The second thing we need to do is check whether that is actually graphene, and, and to what degree that has been crystallised, because it's a crystalline graphene, a graphite. Sorry, I said graphene, I meant graphite. It's a crystalline graphite, but we need to check the crystallinity. So when we're looking at graphite and the uh, possibility of reselling graphite, what's needed is purity of carbon and the degree of crystallinity. Now, we, we won't really be able to tell much about purity of carbon how, because the carbon in here is going to be the same, roughly the same as the carbon in here. What's changed is the crystallinity. And that's probably why we're getting a colour change and we're getting a conductivity change because the crystal structure of the carbon in here has been changed by our process to the crystalline structure of the carbon in here. Now, this is a lump that we took. And the first question you really want to ask yourself is, well, that's a beautiful surface, but what's happened in the middle? So we took a big bit, and we sawed it in half. Now, we see, you can see the saw marks, but it's gone all the way through this massive lump. I mean, this is a big lump of coal, and this process has managed to reach to the centre of that lump of coal. So it's gone all the way through that massive lump of coal, and it's changed it from that black carbon into this beautiful, beautiful silvery crystalline carbon. Let me give you a close-up of that. So here is the original and here it is after the process. So there you go and we're very excited by this because it's a low-cost process and it uses no catalysts so we're not adding anything to it. So I'm really really excited um, obviously we still need to do that testing but I thought I'd show you that because when I came in this morning and took that out and it was like that I just couldn't believe it anyway I hope it was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching